well, ho, ho, darlings. I'm Edna Luncheon, and this is the only reviews that matter. Microwave Cooking Edition. Years ago, Santon, aka D Lifeguard, uploaded a pretty shitty review of a pretty shitty movie. Don't worry, we're not gonna do a movie. You see, there's a scene where one of the characters, whose face looks like it's made out of Vaseline, ask if they can cook burgers in the microwave. Pop them in the microwave? No microwave. We're going to cook over and over. And then there's another scene where an old man tells the killer that the killer can have all the cake he wants if he just kills the Vaseline-faced woman's family and takes their microwave. We could have chocolate cake all the time, boy. If we had a new microwave oven, like the nice folk in the next camp got. Yeah. They got all kinds of things over there, boy. They got a microwave oven. So, Santa on has asked me to test these cooking methods out. First things first. I'm not going to make a cake from scratch because I'm pretty sure this is going to be shitty. I wasn't really sure how to use the microwave to cook a cake to begin with. I googled it and there was this thing called... A wicked house. All right, let's see here. Baking a cake in the microwave. Uh, I already have the cake mix. I don't need any of this, so we're mixing it up. Okay, putting it in the cake dish. Let's see here. Put it in the microwave. And then, what the hell is that? Ew, that looks disgusting. That's definitely not done. That, that cake is not done. Ew. Frosting and decorating. Excellent, excellent. I already know how to do all this. Why would you put mangoes on a cake? Okay, uh, this, this is disgusting. Sprinkles! You're gonna put sprinkles. Those... They did not put sprinkles, okay? They put marshmallows and chocolate chips. Why would they put chocolate mangoes and chocolate chips? And peanuts! Crushed fucking peanuts! Jesus Christ, who came up with this? Who wants a crunchy, nasty microwave cake? Nobody. Alright, we can pretty much throw these instructions away since a Google taught me how to make this cake in the microwave. First things first, darlings, you open up the cake mix and you pour it in. Secondly, we're gonna add a cup of water. Thirdly, we're gonna add half a cup of oil. And fourthly, we're gonna add three Honestly, it's smelling pretty good. 
too. I know you guys out there in YouTube lands can't really smell it, but I can, and I assure you in my professional lunch lady opinion, this does actually smell delicious. I'm gonna stop it instead of going the full five. We're only gonna go four. Your microwave might be different. I don't know why you'd even want to fucking try this, but see how it looks. That does not look that bad. Oh no. Look at that. The middle is not done. Oh Jesus. Definitely uh, cooked 
all the way through. Well, bottoms up, I guess. Here goes nothing. Might as well waste some ground beef on it if you're going to. Well, darlings, I will say one good thing about uh, this cake is um, after you're done making it, if you ever need to clean up the kitchen, you have a sponge right here in the fucking bowl where you made the cake. That is fucking disgusting. In conclusion, Edna Lunchman's review of microwave cooking. One out of two stars. It's all right. Thanks for tuning in. God bless and hell Santa. The only reviews that matter. Microwave Cooking Edition. Is a production of the Children's Television Workshop. Promotional consideration is provided by microwaves. Maybe you should try to cook some shit in them. And by viewers like you. Thank you. It doesn't explain that, like, oh, he goes extra crazy on the full moon or anything. Um, it's just the moon's out, the movie's called Moonstalker, and people die.